Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today is the start of a new series that I'm going to start and this will be kind of sprinkled in uh, with my other videos. Um, they'll just happen occasionally. Uh, it's called Mutton Chop Recommends. Okay, so before we get started, let me explain to you that this is just this is just my recommendation on my experience as a pipe smoker. If you are an experienced pipe smoker and you completely disagree with what I'm saying or what I'm about to recommend, then I understand. But if I was a brand new pipe smoker who was about anywhere from a month to a year in, I'm sorry, month to a year into pipe smoking, I personally would want somebody to kind of give me some recommendations as to how to proceed. And that's all this video is. So, with that being said, uh, let's get into this. All right, uh, you're a new pipe smoker. Uh, you've gone through my videos and you've gone through other people's videos, and uh, you're anywhere from a month to a year in. Um, some people learn faster than others. Uh, some people it takes a month to look at the videos and, and practice and and now you've got it. You you know how to pack your pipe, you know how to smoke your pipe, you know how to light your pipe, you know how to clean your pipe, you're, you're on your way. Uh, some other people it may take up to a year of practicing and kind of getting used to uh, smoking a pipe. Uh, either way is fine. Um, doesn't matter to me how long it, how, how long it takes you <clears throat> okay so uh, let's say that you have been smoking your pipe for let's say six months and you've been using a couple of basket pipes or even a couple of uh, cob uh, corn cob pipes and you've only been practicing with a couple of aromatic blends uh, or a couple of English blends so now you, you know how to smoke your pipe. Uh, you are ready to move to the next step. Okay, so this is what I recommend that you do. There are different ways to go about this. Some people, some people out there just enjoy one blend and just a few pipes. Some people out there enjoy seven or eight blends and a handful of pipes, 10 pipes. Some people are like me who get bored very quickly with what they're smoking. So I have, through the videos that you've seen, 16 blends that I rotate through and then I've got an eight blend auxiliary. So, where should you go? How should you proceed? Okay, so this is my recommendation as to how you proceed after you have completed the learning process of smoking a pipe. In my opinion, I recommend that you go for a seven pipe rotation and a seven blend tobacco rotation with a three blend special occasion rotation. Okay, so let me explain how I came to that. Um, you may not really know what style of pipe you like. Uh, you might like a certain style of pipe, so that's the style that you should go for. Uh, you pretty much know what kind of tobacco you like. Um, so those are the blends that you want to try to stick with. But you're not sure, should, should I only get two or three pipes? Should I only get, should I get 20 pipes? Should I have 15 different blends? Should I have two blends? Uh, this is all a personal choice all a personal uh, a personal journey that you'll need to make 
but I recommend that you start out with this this block of pipes or block of pipes and tobacco. You start out with seven pipes and seven blends with a three blend uh, special occasion uh, rotation. My suggestion is, or my recommendation for the seven pipes and the seven blends is that you have a pipe for every day of the week, starting out. Now, if you are economically challenged, which means you don't really make a lot of money or you don't have a lot of money available to use toward buying pipes and tobaccos, then I would recommend that you get seven corn cob pipes. Corn cobs are inexpensive. Sure, they burn out after a while, uh, but if you're careful with them, you can make them last quite a long time. And then you might look at going through the bulk sales of tobacco instead of buying tins. Uh, a lot of the bulk tobacco you can get an ounce for anywhere from a dollar fifty to four dollars. Um, so if you're economically challenged then that's the way I would go. But get seven corn cobs and seven different blends to rotate once every day. Um, if you are an average you know, an average pipe smoker, uh, you have a little bit of money uh, after you've paid your bills that you can use toward purchasing pipes and tobaccos, then determine what type of pipe you enjoy, what style of pipe, and what type of tobacco you enjoy. And you don't have to buy them all at one time. You can just buy one here and buy one there. But get up to seven pipes and seven blends. That way you can smoke a pipe a day and a blend a day or you can rotate those blends uh, smoke pipe A and then smoke uh, you know this blend this day or another blend the next day and then another blend the next day you can do all kinds of different things you can dedicate one pipe to one blend and smoke pipe A with blend A on Monday you can smoke pipe B and blend B on Tuesday. You can smoke blend C and blend or pipe C and blend C on Wednesday and so on and so forth. Now, if you have a little bit more money and, and you don't want to follow that regimented of a uh, of a rotation uh, and you are the type of person that would rather smoke one blend, one pipe full of tobacco in one pipe, then I would suggest that you purchase 21 pipes. And you purchase 20, either however many blends of tobacco you want, seven or eight blends. That way, if you smoke three bowls a day, then you can smoke one bowl three pipes, one bowl each per day. So you can get pipe A and you can smoke blend A in that pipe. Then you put that one away to rest and you pick up another pipe and you smoke blend D. One bowl full, then you put that one aside. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying here? Uh, you can dedicate three pipes per day if you have 21 pipes. Now, if you, if you have quite a bit of money that you can spend on pipes, it probably won't take you long to do that. Uh, if you are like me, it may take a while to get that many pipes uh, purchased. But for those new pipe smokers that want a little bit of direction, where should I go from here? I recommend that you purchase seven pipes and seven blends of tobacco. 
with a three blend special occasion rotation. Now, what is a three blend special special occasion? I don't know. Those are those are three blends that you don't smoke on a regular basis. You put them away, and you like today's Father's Day. So you know what? I'm going to break out one of my special occasion tobacco and smoke that today, or Christmas Day, or Easter, or Halloween, whatever special occasion comes up, your birthday, then you can break out. The reason I say those three special occasion blends are, are blends that you don't normally smoke on a regular basis. And then you can just change it up. So, you know, I feel like, I feel like a change. So I'm going to smoke this special occasion blend uh, just to give me something different. So that's it. That's my recommendation. Seven pipes and seven blends. Uh, one pipe a day, and you can switch out whatever blend you want. And I also would recommend that those blends be uh, the same type. So if you're really into aromatic blends right now, then do it. Do seven aromatic blends. If you're into Englishes, then seven English blends. If you're into vapors, seven vapor blends. Now you can change it up. You can have you know a couple of aromatics, a couple of <coughs> English, a couple of vapors, but you have to be careful when you smoke your pipes. You might dedicate a couple of those pipes to only aromatics, a couple of them to only English, and a couple of them to only vapors. Because if you smoke a lot of aromatics in, in pipe A, then you switch that pipe to Englishes, and back and forth, um, you might get a little bit of ghosting going on. So just just be aware of uh, of that as you're going forward. Well, that's it. That's my recommendation uh, for those of you that are new to pipe smoking and would like to have someone recommend to you how you go forward. That's my recommendation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.